Oh yeah, it's all coming together. What's up, folks? We're back, coming to you live from my apartment. It's regular Pat. Finally moved in. Finally free of COVID. Welcome to my new room, my office. It's really my office now. I no longer have a bed in the background. I can no longer flop onto it with uh, with abandon when I'm when I'm given uh, two hundred dollars to play Epic Mickey Two. A whole new apartment. That's right. Um, it's not quite finished in here yet unfortunately just the way that this room is set up and the way that the outlets and the windows are this is my background that's regular gf's desk behind me there it is um so i will there is no headboard on on the new bed either i'll have you know um let me go to my full webcam here so yeah as you can see it's mostly window <laughs> taking up the space I'm gonna get uh, blackout curtains, so, oh yeah, my beard's back, because it's been, like, three weeks, I guess, since I, four weeks, maybe? When was the Fitty Fundraiser? We're coming up on a month, that was, uh, the 20th, 19th, 20th of July. Um, if you're watching in the future, this is August 13th. Moved in on Saturday, it's Tuesday now. Um, got over COVID on, like, that past Thursday, I would say, maybe Wednesday. Um, I don't really remember. Um, I have a cough, but it's just a GERD cough. <coughs> That's still here. Oh, no! Um, but yeah, I, uh, I love my new space. Um, you know what? Fuck it, let's just, let's do a little, little tiny tour, alright? Yeah, thanks, Chain. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for the congrats on my healthiness. Also, wait, let me just say, uh, appreciate all of the resubs. I have been gone for probably the longest I've ever been gone, I have to think. Um... I've been on, like, week-long vacations, but it's been, I think, two weeks since I've streamed, which I did not plan for, obviously. But, uh, you know, I, uh, for those that, that are unaware, I, I got COVID two days before I was supposed to move, um, which was really crushing, really a bummer. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we were just like, that's, that's just our fucking luck. Uh, so we, we just delayed it a week. Um, thankfully, this bout of COVID was not as bad as the first time I got it. Uh, no one else in my family, regular GF, didn't get it, so we were all good on that front. I didn't spread it to anybody, thankfully. Um, but, you know, what could you do? But all, all it was all in due time. We, we're all good now. Um, and thank you again for all of the, the resubs here. Let me just get everybody here. Thank you to Buffoon as we were getting started for the 38. Birdie for the 4. Silla Blossom for the 32. Sorry. Uh, no, yeah, 32. Sorry, I can't read. Um, Apollo for the 9. Uh, Soccer Marble, thank you for the 100 bits. T Mac for the 13. The T Mac 13 13 for 13 months. Marble, thank you for the 16 months. Fruitoon for the 15. Fruitoon also recently moved. Uh, I was supposed to move before Fruitoon, but then Fruitoon beat me. Um, so it's kind of cringe of me to get sick and to be beaten in the moving race, but what can you do? Um, let me um, get the code on screen here. This is by Vaca, if you couldn't guess. This is Cage Quote or Taylor Swift lyric, but it's specifically the Folklore slash Evermore version. I was supposed to uh, run this, like, months ago, I think when Tortured Poets Department came out, but I didn't. Um, so there's the code. This is just going to be multiple choice, so don't worry about typing. Um, I will read what you wrote, Vodka, don't worry. Um, Opal, thank you for the six months. Sorry, the 14, I can't read. Uh, Aid for the 9. Aid had a new video out recently I haven't gotten to see yet, but it's ranking the KH1 Heartless. So that's pretty cool. I'll have to put that on at some point. Sung1, thank you for the 29. Sizz for the 5. Uh, Dapped Salty Moose, thank you for the 200 bits. And Nachos for the 41 months. Thank you. Whew. Okay. We're, we're caught up on, on business, I believe. Um, I think after the Blook It... I'll show you my office. I'll just kind of pick up the webcam and give it a twirl. Um, again, not fully furnished or decorated, but you know, it's uh, it's getting there. I've got my cake poster up. Regular GF has some cool PlayStation controller wall art. Um, my Ultima weapon keyblade is kind of just resting on the floor for now, but I'll have a place for that. Um, my bookshelf just has random schmutz on it, but all my games are, are uh, stacked up nicely. Um, oh, I'll have to show you her big Bidoof art. Uh, it's so cool. <coughs> um, what's up, Panda Pyre? Yes, I've made it. 
Um, it was a pretty smooth process, to be honest. It wasn't like a cross-country move either. Like, it was, uh, like two and a half hours away from where I initially lived. Um, so... But it's, uh, it's been really nice. This is, this is all I've wanted for, like, two years, basically, is to, uh, have this space with regular GF. And now we've got it, and it's, uh, it's really nice. Different state, different state. Um, I am no longer a PA boy, but I think I'll probably still vote in PA. Is that allowed? <laughs> I think, I think Splash said that I should do that, but I'm just thinking, like, is, is that, is that cool? Is that okay? okay. Like, I... <sighs> My, my voter registry, like, when do I change that? Yeah, I mean, but when when should it no longer be my permanent address? Maybe don't mention it on stream. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just that my vote is more important there. That's all I can say. Okay, never mind, never mind. I won't do it then. I won't do that, FBI agent watching. I won't do it. I'll just, you know, vote in a place where it doesn't really matter as much. That's, that's cool. Um, okay, my license. I mean, I'm probably not going to change my license for a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll vote in Pennsylvania in Minecraft. That's right. Okay, well, so I haven't changed my license yet. That's not really the top of my priority list right now. So uh, I think we're good on that front. <clears throat> um, what else? Yeah, I mean, I one of the things I'm really stoked about is that like I can go to places without taking like a 20 minute drive because I kind of lived like I lived in Northeast PA and there it wasn't like in a you know metropolitan area it was just kind of like bumblefuck um now I can safely uh get to or rather quickly and safely uh, get to any place that I so desire there's a movie theater 10 minutes away like it was a 40 to 50 minute drive to a good movie theater for me um and that sucked so I'm, I'm hyped about that. <coughs> um, yes, I've eaten the shitty microwavable Panera Mac. That I had that. Actually, I had mac and cheese today too, but it was a different kind. I got the Annie's uh, white cheddar shells because I've watched two separate videos of people on YouTube ranking mac and cheeses. And they're always raving about the Annie's white cheddar shells. So I, I did that. And now here's the thing, and this is a little embarrassing, but I'm just going to be forthcoming with you all. I've never used an electric stove, so I was a little scared to do it. I waited for regular GF to get home because I was like, I'm sure it's fundamentally the same, but I'm a little nervous. You turn it on and the, the red the coils heat up and turn red, and I'm it's just new to me. So I've, I've never used an electric stove. Grew up with a gas stove. It's all I ever had. Yeah. So we were doing it, right? Uh, we were making the mac and cheese, let me be clear. We were making mac and cheese. That's not a euphemism. Making mac and cheese. And uh, I don't know if I use, like, if it's the stove or if my saucepan was too small. But I've never had this making pasta. It just, it just fucking bubbled up. Fizzy bubble water. And I was like, uh, turn it off, I guess. Or turn off the, the stove. So that was, that was scary. Um, I'm assuming I just used too small of a saucepan for how much water I put in. But I'm telling myself, it's the electric stove. The the woke libs are trying to take away the gas stoves and, and cover the countertops in fizzy bubble water. That's what I think. I think that's the true, the woke mind virus, the woke bubble virus. No, I think stirring it caused it to do that. So I like stopped stirring it as much. I don't know. By the way, I like the Annie's way better than uh, your craft blue box. I'll be eating a lot more of that. Um, you know, because of on account of money. Um, sorry. Um, what's up? What's going on? What's good? <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying craft is bad. I just preferred the Annie's. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> You're welcome. Hi, everyone. She says hi. I don't know if you could hear her. Do you want feedback? Oh, maybe. <laughs> Are you coming in? Or you just want to be voice only? I'll be voice only. You mean voice only? They love you. Hi, Reg GF. I heard Actually, a voice. I'm to see how, I can get, how close I can get to without being in the show. Yeah, probably right there. <laughs> well, I'm saying my body. Right, yeah. 
How many target birds do you have? Oh, oh, oh. Um, well, I had to throw one out because it broke its ankle. It broke its ankle? What yeah. was it doing? Was it, it in the Target Bird Olympics? Yeah. Yeah. It broke its ankle. Um, that was like the blue butterfly one that came okay. out this year. The like, I want to say one. I have at least seven. Seven? At least seven. Okay. I think I've had some people offer to get you Target Bird. Shut up. So you're lying if to me. there's, if you want to pick out or, you know, give me a picture of all the ones you own and I can well, give it to I'm that. Well, I'm on the hunt for the Halloween ones. They're on the True. Target app. But I've yet to see them in store. I think they're pranking me. Yeah. <laughs> so that's mega root of them. Are there going to be Thanksgiving target birds? There's always target birds. Target bird for every holiday. Vodka, vodka is the interested party. Oh, thank you, vodka. So if you want a target bird, <laughs> just, you know, I need the new send me a picture. One. I'll send it to her. Oh, God. Yeah. Also, hi, everyone. Y'all are so sweet. Have I played Poke Rogue? Poke Rouge? I'm not familiar with either. Um, DM me and I'll get you. That's so let me know. Oh my god. Thank you, vodka. Yeah. We're facilitating a uh, target bird <laughs> trade. Did you show them my Bidoof poster? No, I was gonna do it after <gasps> the book it. Oh, why leave them waiting? <laughs> Just because it's worth it. That's true. It's worth the wait. You guys are in for a You're gonna love the Bidoof poster. Majestic. I never told the Bidoof story on stream. Oh god. Um so but before we were dating, we were in the talking stage. Um this was like probably what, January to April of uh, 2022. So we were just talking and we were both really into Legends Arceus at the time. And um, one day, I think we were just talking on Discord and I found out that you told me your favorite Pokemon was Bidoof. Mm -hmm. um, and the next day, maybe even the same day, I don't know. It was like a really quick turnaround. I was playing Legends Arceus and I found a shiny Bidoof. I have never found a shiny in that game before or since. Um, and I was like, yo, that's the biggest homie move from the universe. And I was like, I'm in. I'm so in. So I traded uh, I traded the Bidoof to you. It's named, uh, isn't it named Tofu? Yeah, because we're talking about Lion, uh, King Lion King 2. And you thought the boy lion's name was Tofu. You, yeah. you said you said Tofu and Tiara. Yeah. Kovu and Kiara. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So, so and then I feel like you traded me... I think it was like an Eevee or a Vulpix or something. Vulpix. Yeah, named Tiara. Yeah. So, not shiny. No, I gave you a subpar trade. Yeah, <laughs> but it was worth it, you know. That day, I knew. Yeah, you knew. We shared an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two years later. So, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty good origin story. I mean, that's not the origin origin, but that's technically the first gift I ever gave you was yeah. uh, the Bidoof. So. Yeah. Um, and then it was uh, a jar of peanut chews. That's your favorite. Uh... It wasn't a jar. It was kind of a. Or it was a box. It was, it was like huge. A two pound <laughs> it was box. it was bigger than I, than I thought. Dark chocolate peanut chews. That's your. That's your fave. They're so young. Yeah. Um, I still have tips running. Oh well, I mean, listen, I'm not gonna say no to tips, but I did mean to turn that off. So, the message that says. Hey, if you want to tip to Pat, here's the link. Oh, does it I forgot every the, so many minutes? It's every 15 minutes. I forgot to take it off. Ooh, that's a little bit spunky. Yeah, a little spunky. Anyway, um. y'all are the best. Thank you. <laughs> and um, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks. I'll see ya. Bye. Feel free to visit whenever. Okay. All right. Okay. See, now we can have a visitor basically whenever. So that's cool. Yeah, I'm sorry that uh, you really only got like two or three streams out of Babyface Pot. That was a short-lived sort of... Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think you should feel bad about that. I think you should be grateful that uh, you don't have to put up with Dimple Pot anymore. Um, also, thank you for the resubs from Splash for the 27. Where's the neon wire lights in the cube shelves? I don't see a single $150 anime figurine. Um, I have some Funko Pops. <laughs> I have a... Uh, I have a statue of um, Connor from Assassin's Creed 3, which I don't even like that game very much, but my friend Chris from college uh, gave it to me, so I have that. Uh, Last Order, thank you for the 27 and for the 5 in advance. Uh, appreciate that. Or no, sorry. I, I don't know why I'm having trouble reading, but whatever. It's 5 months, 27 total. You know, thanks regardless. <laughs> Nakladaw, thank you for the year. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
All right, sorry I've been holding this up. There's been a lot of uh, business to talk, and even more when we're done, because I want to show you some stuff in my office. Um, all right, so this is, actually, I'm not in myself, so let me get in here. Um, do, do, do. It's been a while since I've done this. Do I remember how this works? Playduplookit.com, 870-2016. And I'll be, um, I guess I gotta be Everpat. Because this is Evermore and folklore themed, specifically. Um, I'm not going to be some dumbass turtle, that's for sure. What'd you say? Sorry. Um, where's my fucking giraffe? There we go. Okay. All right, folks. Here we go. This is Gavaka with the uh, KH quote or Taylor Swift lyric. You're going to see four quotes. You got to pick the KH quote. Okay? Here we go. Yeah, you know what? Double cross and cock. And we got 35 memes. Or something in that ballpark, I believe. Here we go. <clears throat> um, I'm doing good. I'm on some new shit. Been saying yes instead of picking the cage quotes. <laughs> oh, the Chippy Bears. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, right now is the last time I can dream about what happens and you see my face again. The road not taken looks real good right now. Wish I could take my own advice or we gather stones never knowing what they'll mean. Um, I definitely know it. That would be Riku, um, after talking to Quasimodo in Dream Drop. Yes, picking the cage quote, yes. <laughs> uh, so we have the Jabibaras from the Spore one-off. Uh, <laughs> wow. See, I wish I knew anything about Taylor Swift to know, uh, you know, how accurate these were. I mean, you know, some of these speak for themselves, Red... Lover, fearless, certainly. Is this just, did you just flip the image here because she released two albums back to back that had no staying power with the cultural consciousness? Uh, Midnight's, it appears that maybe we're dead. Uh, and that's the tortured poet. I believe that's peak Jabib, so that's like the furthest along evolutionarily Jabib got was, uh, <laughs> was that in the tribal stage, so. Uh, I can't name a single song from either of those albums, and ni neither can most Americans. All right, number two. Here we go. I have no idea. Um, and when I felt like I was an old cardigan under someone's bed, you put me on and said, pick the KH quote. There's no deeper sadness than discovering all that you knew was gone. All this time, I never learned to read your mind. If it's all the same to you, it's the same to me. You're so much older and wiser. Fuck. What the fuck is that? Aqua? 0 0.2? Makes sense. Fits the vibe for sure. Um, by the way, pro, pro tip, don't read this. This is going to waste your time. If you want to get a good score, just look at these. Don't focus on this. She fucks with you. All right, let's see. Loser, lame, and laughable. Okay, so this is a, got a triangle chart. Larkseen is none of them, of course. Uh, Marluxia's laughable. Uh, Zaldan, lame. I would put Luxord. Hmm. See, Luxord gambles, so I feel like he's a loser because he's going to be losing at least, you know, a percentage of the time. Axel between lame and laughable. Vexen's just all of them right in the middle there. Demix is between loser and laughable. Xemnas, Rocks, Asyx, losers. Where's Shion? Did you forget Shion? Wow. Wow. And here I thought girl power ruled. Girl power ruled. All right, number three. Give me a long block of Odin. I see. I looked at it again. Um. There goes the last great American dynasty. Who knows? If she never picked the KH quote, what could have been? I never had the courage of my convictions as long as danger is near. I was too scared to jump in. If it's all in my head, tell me now. There are some things even the stars cannot tell me. <clears throat> I got that one. <laughs> now go stand in the corner and think about what you did. I do believe this is Yen Sid. Uh, I'm gonna say birth by sleep, but uh, I could be wrong. It could be DDD. All right, number four. Uh, oh no! Oh fuck! That was a huge mistake. 
I think I've seen this cage quote before and I didn't like the ending. The only thing I want to do is make it up to you. Would it be enough if I could never give you peace? It's been promised to another, or he's good at wrapping you around his little finger. Ah. Balls. Yeah, it's red. That's uh, Luxor to Vexen in Cage 3 Caribbean. I saw this and it reminded me of like the Nameless Star or something. Or one of the stars in the final world. Um... <laughs> you gonna kiss and cry? <laughs> and that, of course, is uh, Mr. Uh, man and the Pooh Rain. Jump, thank you for the two years. Uh, I forget his name. Sh Shomo? Shomo? Uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, well, who, what am I thinking of? <laughs> uh, Water, what's up, dude? Thank you so much. We're gonna tour a little bit of the office after the Blicket. Um, but yeah. Well, what am I thinking of? I thought there was a, a Shomo Ono. Is that just made up entirely? Welcome back. What's up? Uh, I don't know. That's up to you. Wait, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta answer this question. Yeah, that's up to you. Um. What the hell? I'm gonna say this, but I have no idea. Cursing my name, wishing I picked the cage quote, look at how my tears ricochet. I have no idea. Um. Oh, Shoma is a different skater. My bad. I, I, there's like two that Vaka always talks about. What the fuck is this? You've been good to me and you didn't have to be. Oh, Bell and Cage too, okay. All right, what do we have here? Oh my God. I said what I freaking said. I have no idea what this means. What's up, Ruthie? How you doing? Where's my Ruthie button? I, it's been so long since I pressed the buttons. Uh, thank you for the 42 months. I think that's our first 42 -er. Um These are all High School Musical songs set to a different word in this quote. Um, I, I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand at all, but here, you know. For anyone who wants it, pause the video, take a look. Um, uh, this is just, uh, it's literally just the quality. Okay, I thought I thought it had to do with the words themselves in the tier list. Um, so, status quo, I do think, yeah, I think status quo, fabulous. I don't really remember, I don't dance that much. Uh, Bop the top, definitely pretty good. Because um, I've watched the first one in pieces, I think. Um, where's all in this together? I hate that one. Uh, where is that? Yeah, that should be lower. Um, we don't like these ones? Okay. Alright, got it. Uh, get your head in the game mid. Yeah, status quo is, is awesome. Great song. Great song about conformity. Not, uh, God, we're on question six. This is 23 minutes of the book it so far. Uh... I think it's this. Um, you'll find me on my tallest tiptoes, spinning in my highest heels, love, picking the cage quote just for you. Uh, you left me no choice but to stay here forever, give you a silence that only comes when two people understand each other. You called out my name, you've been thinking about me, or I escaped it too, remember how you watched me leave. <clears throat> um, I believe, is that Ansem and Calm to Riku? perhaps. Um, I wish all Lark scene stands a very pleasant evening. As always, as usual. Number seven. And it's MSOD and Recall. There you go. Love you to the moon and to Saturn. Passed down like folk songs. The cage quote lasts so long. Uh, I prefer SZA's Saturn. Uh, you know I didn't want to have to haunt you, but what a ghostly scene. Are you sure you didn't make him up? I can see it's lost in the memory, or she was in fact not, or she was not in fact what she seemed. Um, hmm. I said blue. Um, could be any number of things, I'm not sure. Any ideas? Great. Selfie in two, okay. Oh, the when Riku mugs Roxas.
I have no idea. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't you do this meme but with Spore or something? This feels familiar. I have no idea. August sipped away like a bottle of wine because you were never picking the KH quote. Sorry. Oh, my bad. Oh, selfie talking about uh, Kyrie just imagining or making up Sora. I thought it was Olet with the god. I, I'm just, I've forgotten everything. Uh, what's up, Jace? It was good. Uh, moving into a new apartment with my GF next Thursday. Very excited but nervous with the actual moving part. Any troubles? Uh, not really. My dad, thankfully, owns a big box truck, so that helped. I didn't have to drive a U-Haul. Um, depends on how far you're moving, but, you know, make sure if you're going across state lines or getting on the turnpike or whatever, you got an easy pass that works. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Just, uh, prepare to be tired, and uh, don't overdo it on the, on the first day. That's what I would say. But yeah, big shout out to regular dad. Um, I did get it right, but I have no idea who this is. Um... All right, number nine. I <clears throat> uh, think I got this one. They told me all of my cages were mental, so I got wasted like all of the cage. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be like some fucked up human centipede of Patrick, Spongebob, and Xemnas, and Shion. Um, this is just <laughs> similar vibes. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. Uh, that would be a Rapunzel down there to Mother Gothel. Alright, number 10. What does this picture fucking mean? That feels right. Um, and that's the thing about illicit affairs and clandestine meetings and picking the KH quote. Clan is it clandi clandestine? That's a word where I, I read it more than I hear it. Um, I know it means secretive. Clandestine. 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 Um, I do believe it's blue. I don't know, but it feels like Diz. Um, Diz in uh, on the dark margin, maybe? I'm not sure. I believe it's Chamomile. Number 11. Oh, it's Ericus. Uh, um, and isn't it just so pretty to think all along there was some Kingdom Hearts quote trying, they're tying you to me? Um, she's everything. He's just Ken. Sorry, I'll turn off the tip thing. I'll set a reminder. <laughs> set a reminder for 9.05 p.m. Turn off the tip thing. Did I get it? I did. Um, who is this? Then maybe? Scold. Scold and cucks. What a pull. Number 12. What a shill. What a pain. Um, and there's nothing like a mad woman. What a shame. She went and picked the KH quote. I couldn't be sure. I had a feeling. I just wish I knew what I was doing here. Sometimes you just don't know the answer or you know in your soul when it's time. Who put on lazy afternoons with the sea salt ice creams floating around, Kevin James? That's Kevin James, right? That's his name? King of Queens guy? Ooh, I got it wrong. Um, I said yellow. Um, I just wish I knew what I was doing here. Um, Kevin James said this in days, right? Got it. 13. Do, do, do. Hmm. That's gotta be bait. Uh. Uh. I have no idea. Oh my god, a Keyblade ranking? Only 20 minutes to sleep, but you dream of some Kingdom Hearts quote. Only 29 minutes of the book it so far on question 13. Fuck. Oh my god. I was so close to picking that. I was honestly torn between yellow, blue, and red. Um, Ventus, would you mind if I stayed here with you? In what context? Oh boy. Wow. 
Oh, these are eras of the Keyblades? Uh, I wish I could see. It's, it's, it's small. Um, but, you know, obviously the Kingdom Key is going to be self-titled. Uh, what else? What else can I make out here? We got Pixie Petal and Folklore. Um, I believe that's Bad Guy Breaker and Evermore. Uh, you got Bond of the Blaze and Red. Yeah, all the red ones you can just throw in there. Kingdom Key D and Fearless. How did it get so small? Uh, again, pause if you'd like to get Vaka's thoughts on, on which I... <laughs> she spent so long on this, it's such a shame that it's so small. And that it's lost on me entirely, but it's, you know, it's for the masses. Alright, 14. Um, would you tell me to go fuck myself or lead me to the cage quote? That's a Taylor Swift lyric? Would you tell me to go fuck myself? There's nothing for you to see here. He's got my past frozen behind glass, but I've got me. Fatefully, I tried to pick my battles, or I never was ready, so I watch you go. Um. <laughs> wow. Let's see. Yeah, I just couldn't hear any of these in KH, so I picked yellow. Um. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Is that what he calls it? <laughs> Classic. Uh, the 720 got vodka bottle. Number 15. <clears throat> Hmm. Um, but there's robbers to the east, clowns to the west. I'd give you my sunshine and give you my best cage quote. Oh. I see. The clowns over here on the west. <laughs> um, I don't know. This one, I'm not... Nothing's jumping out to me. I picked red. This gives me, like... Cux vibes, or maybe a uh, back cover. Um, and that made me want to die. It's true. God, look how dead I am. That was two years ago. Three years ago? Oh, I think it was three. I think it was. Um, this is Terra and Neverland. Oh, Terra to Peter Pan after he put him in his place. 16. Stood on the cliffside, screaming, give me a KH quote. Back when we were still changing for the better, wanting was enough. Why didn't you let me know you were okay? Long story short, it was a bad time. Or so inviting, I almost jump in. Um... <laughs> I'm on a fucking roll. Zero L's, all W's. Hell yeah. <laughs> Love that confidence. Um... Yeah, this just didn't feel very melodic, so that's why I picked that one. Um, wasn't much rhythm to that quote. But I'm not sure. Um, Riku ditching Kyrie in the final world. I gotta go my own way. She's, she needs more training. Gabriella as well. Or Troy, I guess, in this context. Troy needs more training. Gotta go to the hyperbolic basketball court with Fairy Godma. Um, or Yen said, rather. No, Merlin. Jesus Christ. I just forgot all of Kingdom Hearts in the two weeks. All of it's gone. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> that's my favorite one so far. <laughs> I'm not cut out for all these cage quotes. These hunters with cell phones. What did you say? I don't have a cell phone. What, what is a cell phone? Um, <laughs> Pat, when he gets to dioramas. <laughs> He said he needed time to himself. Um, that sounds familiar. I don't know. Um, this is an epic Mickey reference. Uh, you gotta, you gotta. Um, that should be in the lore sheet. Um, you gotta watch Epic Mickey too to uh, get that one. But that's a deep cut. <laughs> that's that's uh, classic. Oh man. All right, number eighteen. <laughs> I love that one. Okay. Ugh, fuck. I don't know. Life was a cage quote, and it bent right to your wind. This is the Animal Crossing uh, villagers for each organization member. Let's see if I can name these villagers. Regular GF quizzes me on villagers all the time, and I always do really bad. 
If I don't know their names, I'll name them. Um, I got this, but I'm not sure who. Um, Riku and KH2, as Ansem Riku, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <coughs> I think this is Apollo, maybe? <clears throat> As Zemnus? Uh, I'm gonna say that's, uh, that is, uh, hmm. His name is Rushmore. Um, that's, uh, Bearman. Um, that's Chester. Alfonso. Raymond. Um, that is Bruno. This is Octavius. That is Joey. Regular GF loves Joey. Um, Caesar? Or perhaps, um, Nero? Um, that, of course, is Buffala. Um, I'm thinking of the, the ice spell in Persona. Um, that is, of course... Trisha. Um, that right there is Scotty. And of course, Pecan. <laughs> I think I got like two of those, right? Uh, Marshall. Okay. All right. Good stuff. 19. I'll have to show that part of the VOD to regular GF. Uh, Um, she would have picked such a lovely cage, quote, What a shame she's fucked in the head, she said, they said. Uh, watching you climb over people like me, if someone comes at us, this time I'm ready. Uh, you don't even actually know her, or I'll show you every version of yourself. That looks like a blonde version of Amanda Zuckerman from BB-15. Um, I know that's not who it is, but... Bop, 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 bop. Damn. Uh, only six people got this one. I also said blue. Um, you don't even actually know her. Is that Lark Scene? Yeah, Lark's gonna recon, that makes sense. Um, Pat looking at the chat during stream, because all we do is talk about stupid shit. <laughs> That's true. Very true. Who won the Lark scene trivia? Not you. Uh, definitely not you. Number 20. Oh, I did. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, listen, I don't wear it as a badge of honor. That's just another day of work for me. Um... I'm gonna say this. My mind turns your life into folklore. I can't dare to dream about the cage quote anymore. Alignment chart of brackets. Wow. Well, uh, huh. I'm getting Vanitas vibes from Red, which is what I picked. Could be wrong though. Vanitas to Aqua, there you go. Um. All right, let's see. Character popularity bracket is lawful good. That was pretty uh, uh, democratic. Um, neutral good was the quote bracket. Uh, fashion bracket was chaotic good. Lawful neutral was the cutscene bracket. True neutral. Oh wait, is it, is it fashion twice? This is a this is a fucky wucky baka. What happened? Fashion twice. Uh, <laughs> chaotic neutral is uh, my own video bracket. Lawful Evil is the Trio Bracket, Neutral Evil is the Bad Takes Bracket, and Chaotic Evil is the Christmas Commercial Bracket, probably entirely because of the uh, Folgers commercial being featured. Um, 21. Um, I think I got this. Sleep in half the day, or sorry, sleep in half the day, just for old time's sake. I won't ask you to wait if you don't ask me to pick the KH quote. I think I'm getting uh, either Setzer or Cypher. Um, it's one of the two, is red. Yeah. Um, one of those in KH2. Um, Larkseen's Demise. That's the song! <laughs> wow. Is that Camp Rock? Is that where we're pulling from? She's really good. 22. 40 minutes on this so far. <laughs> um, lay the table with the fancy shit and watch you pick the KH quote. Um, what's this? KH songs is Taylor Swift's Five Stages of Grief. 
Um, Kyrie One, Dearly Beloved, Lazy Afternoons, Eternal Moments, and Limpecto Oscuro. And this is a playlist that Vodka made herself. <coughs> a lot of commitment to the bit there. Bump, ba, bump, bump. Yeah, um. Uh, it's so familiar. But I don't know. Um. I want to say it's about Xehanort. Oh. Oh, it's Aurora talking about Ansem in a text bubble in KH1. So it was kind of about Xehanort. Close enough. 23. You know, I don't know. Good thing my daddy made me get a boating license when I was picking the KH quote. What is she, fucking Spongebob? Um, I'm gonna say... Yellow? Oh, fuck. All they needed was someone to see them. I have no idea. Um, Joshua. Oh, that's why I didn't know it. Um, this is more, uh, as Taylor Swift's Five Stages of Grief, a concept I'm familiar with. Friends in my heart, Fours de Mall. Musique pour la tristesse des chiens. Dance to the death and Skalad Kylum. Obviously. Of course. Joshua from Twooey and Dream Drop. He's kind of omnipotent. Uh, no idea. It's yellow or blue. Mm. When did all our lessons start to look like cage quotes pointed at my deepest hurt? I do know hurt. Um, yeah, that just seemed like generic enough that it could be just a throwaway quote somewhere. Um, of course, part three of the stages of grief. Uh, at dusk I will think of you, Riku, Nachtflugel, The Afternoon Streets, and La Oscarita del Ignoto. Cage bargaining, am I allowed to cry? Oh, oh, I get it, I get it. See, here I thought, one, two, three, four, five, I thought each one of these was a stage of grief, but there's five songs for each stage, so I gotta sit through two more of these and not really get it? Is that it? Okay, I got it, I got it now, I'm learning, picking up on the meme format. <laughs> this is 25. Um... You're a queen selling dreams, selling makeup and cage quotes. I got nothing but well wishes for you. I sit and watch you. I notice everything. Death doesn't frighten me or the water when your ship rolled in that night. I know this for sure. That is Riku Replica as he lay dying in front of the mansion in Recom. Um... Here we are on, on depression, old habits die screaming, simple and clean, treasured memories, missing you, La Eminenza Oscura 1, Lord of the Castle, and Destiny's Union. Great songs here, great picks. Uh, number 26. If she sang this, that's diabolical. Um, I would like to hear it. I can't believe I'm saying it, but I would like to hear that. Bum, ba, da, bum. Okay, I was going to say, it's yellow. Uh, he certainly has fire, so I suppose it depends on now on how strongly it burns. I was like, if she sings that, that's crazy. Uh, Yen Sid, okay. Uh, we're in acceptance now. Uh, we have The Other Promise, Aqua, Face My Fears, Guardians of Light, and Don't Think Twice. Beautiful. Beautiful acceptance stage of the Taylor Swift phases of grief. Um, okay. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, it's a fire. It's a goddamn cage quote in the dark, and you started it. Uh, <laughs> great stuff 
from the lyricist of our generation. Um, all Moogles are valid. How dare you stand where she stood? I think it's the teeth. I think it's the little chomperinos there. I think, I think that's a... Um, yeah, this is a... Nominee, right? Nominee and Recom. There you go. 28. <clears throat> uh, you're a cowboy, like me, picking cage quotes in the dark, telling all the rich folks anything they want to hear. Here's Taylor Swift with 5,000 money. Sweet. What's wrong with <laughs> I just wanted to hear that. Um, uh, but I don't know. I, don't know. I think it's green. Yep. Don't know who, don't know where. Ansem SOD or Zemnis to Ansem the Wise. Uh, makes sense to me. Maybe Zemnis to Ansem the Wise in two. Oh, it's Sephiroth. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Sephiroth to Cloud. 29. Uh, I'm gonna say this. Misery, like the war of KH, I shouted in my sleep. I was like, KH1? Can't tell if that's a regular GF or neighbors. Ooh, wait. Mmm. I, I feel like it's blue? Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it felt right. Zemnis and 2. Um, this is what you see as you're welcome through the gates of heaven. The manga show, the manga game show. Wow. The first thing you see, St. Peter's Lake, before you come in, got you an advanced screening. The uh, prime real estate seating here for the manga video. Number 30. All your closets of backlogged KH quotes and how you left them all to me. Vodka asking a vodka question. Uh, what's this guy's fucking name? I don't pronounce it correctly. What's his name? The Preminger. Oh, a good old Preminge. Uh, once again, I got it, but I don't know in what context. <laughs> Oh, so now you're gonna phoneticize it properly? Pre. Because <laughs> Vodka would say, it's not pre-minger, it's pre-minger. She would spell it the same way, as if that would help me at all. <laughs> Alright, 31. Uh, I'm gonna say this. I'm fine with my spite, and my tears, and my beers, and my KH quotes. Um, Pat after he shaved his beard. <laughs> I'm simply not going to look at myself. So true. I, I tried to avoid it as often as I could. <laughs> I'm simply not going to look at myself. I got it. Failing to place a lot of these. 32. At least I don't have to play Dream Drop for as long tonight. I'm gonna say this, um, and I was catching my breath, picking the cage quote, catching my death. Um, did you hear my covert narcissism? I disguise as altruism, like some kind of congressman. Um, is that not um, anti-hero? Is that it? There you go. Um, I think that's Sora to Riku in uh, Cage Two, maybe. 33. Got that one. She's still 23 inside her fantasy, and you're picking the cage quote in front of me. Lazy Afternoons Cage 2, Lazy Afternoons Cage 2 FM. He's so pained. It's like the Spider Man meme, but it's Troy Bolton's. 
They're the same. They're the same guy. No taste. <laughs> um, I believe that's Ventus talking about the Keyblade in BBS. 34. Um, I gave it my all, he gave me nothing at all. Then wondered why I picked the KH quote. What do we have here? Oh, I don't know what this means. The one. August. The last great American dynasty. Epiphany. Betty. Exile. Featuring Bon Iver. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is Lark Seaton in the uh, recom. My tears ricochet. Mirror ball. Um, hoax. The, the lakes. Seven. Cardigan. This is me trying. Madwoman. Invisible string. Illicit affairs. Peace. There. I believe this is, uh, I meant to do the voice of each song. Um, I think I crushed it. Also, the Moogle is the 15th member of the organization. Naturally. All right, final question. 35. I'm going to say this. That old familiar cage quote, the snaps from the same little breaks in my soul. I know when it's time to go. Um, same general concept again, except now we have... Oh, wait, Olette was in that too. <laughs> Olette was in the organization. Um... We have a shirtless Ansem SOD, the weirdo. Um, sounds like you're more than just friends. Again, I don't know where it comes from. Um, this is Evermore, of course. Um, Marjorie, Willow, Champagne Problems. All right, here's the thing. I've at least heard of these two songs. I mean, this is the title track, but I don't think I... I've heard of Coney Island, but I think only from Vodka. Um, that's it, though. Uh, these, I think I've at least heard this song played. Um, I don't know if I've heard this play, but I've definitely heard the name in, I've only heard it because you say it though. It doesn't really count, you know, you've probably said all of these at a point. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see our leaderboard in third place. It's Ace in second. It's Chara. And in first, it's Nakaloda. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> I was like, they fixed it. No, it was just one second longer than I thought. Congratulations, Nakloda. In fourth place, it's Bon Sweet. And in fifth, it's Jackie. And for our top ten, Sub in sixth, Rom in seventh, Scylla Blossom in eighth, Kind Rainbows in ninth, and Barnabuzz in tenth. Where did I end up? Fourteenth. What can you do? What's up, Zach? Yes, thank you. 32 months. Appreciate that. New apartment hype, indeed. Um, let's see. I'm going to say... Uh, 67. Wow, wow. I'm goaded. I'm goaded as fuck. Okay. Thank you to Vodka for that. Um, the hurdle was not loading for me, so no hurdle. But we do have the spottle, which I have fallen off hard on. I have not been doing these uh, probably all week now. Um, five seconds of summer. Would not have gotten that. Um, let's do Spottle and then I'll, uh, I'll just webcam around my office a bit. Um, gorillas. If it was gorillas while I was sick slash moving, I'll be, I'll throw up. I'll run through a brick wall. Alright, we are pre-2001, not European, and not for people. Um, let's just go Michael Jackson. Pre-72, okay, we are late 60s, early 70s. Uh, a male pop group. Male pop group in America. Uh, okay, is this stupid? Like, Earth, Wind, and Fire? Is that around then? Will you say that's pop? R&B. Mm, okay, I'm stupid. And that's there's nine people. You'd think you'd think three. Earth, Wind, and Fire. What a misnomer. Okay, um, pre-71. Male American pop group. We know it's not one person, and it's not nine people. So we've really narrowed it down. 
um, the Archies. <laughs> I know that they're in the 60. They're not even in the top 1,000, okay? Unless I have to type the. No. Let's just type the, though, and see what we get. Uh, let's see. Is this cheating? Is this metagaming to type words and see what comes up? None of these are useful. Um, let's just the, uh, the, buh. The Beach Boys? Is that... Hmm. Could be, right? Maybe? The Beach Boys? 62. Okay, so they're way... And they're rock. But it is five people. Okay. Five male pop stars. Just palling around, making pop tunes in the 60s and 70s. The... Break time! I have no idea. The duh. Not the doors. Uh, the uh, the fuh, the guh, the la. Might need some help, folks. I really don't know where to go with this. Wait, could it be the Jackson 5? That would make sense. I was right there. I had Michael in the beginning. Oh my god. Okay. Why the wait? Did they pick Santa Claus is coming to town? Um, that's a choice for their representative song there. Um, was it? It sounded like he knows when you were sleeping. I didn't look at the screen when it played. Um, <laughs> what's up, Alexa? Thank you for the thirty-two months. Yes, the move was fairly easy, um, and I'm feeling a lot better. All right. So let's let's show as much as I can. Um, let's see here. Okay. I'll go full screen here. The chat will be hidden, unfortunately, in the YouTube VOD. But let's do just webcam. Alright, here's my wall. Um, I have... So my dad made me a new desk. And it's got... It's got Prestos uh, in it. See? There's a couple of them around here. I think that's a mighty cool. Um, it's got this, um, what's the word? Epoxy on it. My old one was just wood. So this is, it's basically the same exact desk, but she made me that one as well. Um, so it's custom built. Love that. Um, let's see. Here's my, uh, that, that used to be regular GF. She's like, hey, this is for your office now. So I like that. I have a pet peeve about the, uh, skips PS3. It goes one, two, four, five. I get it because three and and four look too, uh, or rather two and three look too similar, so. Got my cake poster, Fashion Nugget, great album, 1994. Um, here's my, all my games. Oh yes, so she was asking, should we show this? I was like, listen, that's up to you. We went to the Seal Pier in Atlantic City, and we got a caricature done. And, uh, well, I'm very clearly, I don't know if I was doing this in the moment, but it appears I am checking out her, uh, her upper body. Um, I don't think that's how it went in the moment, but, you know, I think the guy did a little goof. Um, so, uh, but I think that's really cute. I don't know what's going on at the top of my head, though. That looks uh, bizarre, but, you know, what can you do? Um, but, yeah, I, this is kind of a mess here. All my games, I just have some schmutz kind of laying around. You can see a, a KK Slider Pez, uh, the blue guy right there. Two PSPs that I, I'm not going to use ever. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's all my games. Um, my Ultima that my, uh, my Ultimas got me. My Ultima for my Ultimas for my 26th birthday, I think. That was right after my gallbladder surgery. Um, and then, you know, that's her desk. That's her setup. She's got her PS5 over there. Um, I'm gonna grab the Bidoof art, and I will show that to you. Check out my Ireland shirt. One sec. Okay, so this is going to hang above either her desk or on, on the wall right there. Um, I think it's so cool. Uh, it's, it's very uh, exclusive. I believe this is one of like 250 or so prints of this. Um, I think her brother got it for her, but very cool. Used to be in her bedroom and now it's going to be in our office. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got so far. I have a lot of stuff that I want to display in here, like my Million Dreams Awards and all my other stuff that I've gotten from my patrons. Um, 
my axle art from my sister that she made uh, years and years ago. I do have this other PlayStation controller art that I want to hang up that does have all of the um, generations represented there. So that is the brief tour of the not fully decorated office, but there you go. Um, and yeah, I've gotten comments on, uh, you know, the quality looking better. I think it's just the lighting is maybe better. I mean, I only have my lamp on right now, and I guess I have the the curtain or the um, the window without the curtains fully covering the light. So I want to get uh, blackout curtains um, to cover that. <laughs> so I guess the lighting might be worse once I do that, but uh, I don't know. That maybe, maybe if you think it's better as it is now, I'll keep it how it is. Um, but yeah, no, it's like just basic uh, grayish walls and uh, grayish carpet. Uh, I like the carpet in here. It's nice. Um, very comfy feeling, you know. I just, I, I, I don't, I, I, I think this is just like a perfect size, you know. I, I don't, uh, I don't think we need more than what we've got here. Like, it's not lavish, but it's also not like we're living in squalor. Um, I think it's, it's pretty nice. Um, it's all we really need for two people. So, yeah, my trapezoid room is gone. Um, I used to have like kind of a slanty ceiling. Um, I'll miss it, um, but you know, on to bigger and better things. So, okay, we're gonna switch on over to Dream Drop. Uh, it's been a long time coming, unfortunately. Um, but my goal is to try and beat the fucking game. Dream Drop level one. Um, so I'll see you there. Bye, VOD people.